One of the um, issues that comes up quite often is the way the line lays on a band stall reel. What happens is it becomes concave as it goes on. So what happens is you get a bunch up in the front and the back, which if there's too much line on, you'll wind up getting wind knots and having issues. So uh, Craig Cantalmo from Van Stall had told us a year or two back that when you put your line on, to make sure that you put it on with a hump in the middle. So what happens is, as time goes on, and you use your reel, it'll actually flatten out, and you'll no longer have that hourglass, if you will, in the line. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it with a couple of quick steps, minimal amount of tools, and hopefully it'll work for you. All right, the items I have, I have an empty spool, I have a quarter 20 by two inch, and that'll depend, the two inch will depend on how thick your spool is. If you have a real thick spool, you're gonna need a longer nut, but the quarter 20 will work. And then for your reel, a quarter 20 by two and a half works perfectly. It is, it'll allow you to put it on your spool and attach it to a drill bit. Now I'm gonna do it on my lathe today, but you, anybody can do this on their drill. All right, it becomes a two person job when you're doing it that way with the drill bit, because you need somebody hold the spool for you. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my line and I wanna wind it onto the spool. You don't have to do the full amount, but you need to get down quite a bit. Okay, so now we're going to take the spool off. Now what I'm going to do is I have a piece of 3 8 dowel, either 3 8 or quarter inch. And I'm just going to slide it through there. I'm going to take the end of my line. I'm going to wrap it onto the spool. Now you could actually tie a slip knot and slide it on there if you prefer. So then it's a matter of taking your line. Just take your line. Keep a little bit of tension on your spool so it just doesn't spin out of control. Now you can see as you get down to the bottom where you haven't been into your backing at all, the line lays flat. So now I'm just going to switch. And I'm going to put my line on my spool on there. Okay, so now I've switched off and I have my reel on the lathe. In this case, you would have the reel in your drill. Now, I put a glove on because you want your line to be relatively tight while you're spooling it so that it'll avoid any wind knots or anything going down the road. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start by building this up a little more in the middle. Okay. 
Now if you remember in the beginning, your line was right to the edge, almost to the edge of the lip when it was the hourglass. And you can see now that it's built up in the middle, you have room on the outside of your lip. A lot more room than you had before. So now when you use this reel a few times and it starts to want to do this, your line is going to lay flat. So you shouldn't have any issues the way you had them before. Hopefully this helps. Good luck out there.